Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I'm going to do less of an update video and more of like an endgame atlas juicing. Do note that if you try to copy this atlas and you are not geared, you are going to get disintegrated. So this is basically a very endgame version and it doesn't mean you're supposed to transition from my atlas tree one into this atlas tree. It's just something I wanted to share with you guys for what we're doing in the live streams. So it's basically a full map modifier effect uh, with some scarabs depending on like well, basically this scarab because the scarab actually is good for acquiring different types of scarabs, specifically the rare ones. And then this one amplified artifacts because we are going to be doing Harbinger and beyond and we are getting crap ton of rare monsters. So you can see we've got every Harvey node along with all of the beyond nodes that matter. Specifically for this strategy, we are using the Keystone Endless Tide to prevent beyond bosses from spawning so we can keep farming beyond. And then with a little twist, I came down here to add in basically Devout uh, Pursuit to increase the modifier of the, uh, the the stuff of the Devout mods. So basically like extra pack size, extra loot drop. I don't really know how beneficial it is right now, but in the patch that's coming up, this should be getting uh, buffed. And then I want to also come up here and grab Eternal Torment just for extra rare mobs. With that being said, here's another look. I'm currently juicing with three times regular Harby Scarab and one times Harbinger Scarab of Regency. If you wanted a more Harbinger focused Atlas, you can replace one of these Scarabs with a Discernment, which basically gives you like a gotcha. It's like a big gamble. Either you get nothing or you get Omega Fracture Orbs and stuff. I've made a ton of currency on this Atlas, uh, not including all of the fragments that I have, or sorry, the <laughs> Scarabs I farmed, which is uh, kind of a lot. So I've really been enjoying it. The price of the Harvey Scarabs have been going up. So I imagine, you know, it's going to be harder to break into. Oh, that being said, I'm going to stop yapping and let's get into it. I also go 6C on Harvey. So that's 6, 12, 18, 24. These are about 3C. So 24, 25, 26, 27. I can buy Deli Orbs at 5C each. So that's 32. So about 32 Chaos when I hit activate right here. Okay. Uh, we got plus one modifier and less pack size, so this is overall kind of scam. I don't really care who goes where here, so sure, yeah, whatever. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't have Defiance of Destiny on my build yet, so there's a chance I can die in this type of content as it gets very dense and very juiced very fast. Just now, recently, I have actually opted out to drop shrines for more scarabs. Recently, I was also on shrines, but I was suggested to drop them, so I'm dropping them to see if I like them more. Now, the main purpose of this atlas is not only farming Harvey currency, but also beyond currency. So the trick with Harvey and beyond is when you pull across a mysterious harbinger like that right there, he will just start shitting out mobs. You kill the mobs and they shit out beyond mobs. And it kind of just, it kind of just like loops like that, right? Uh, kind of like pulling to get rare drops, you know, currency, etc. But also just killing a bunch of mobs, because killing mobs is a lot of fun in PoE. This is where I would say Chieftain really specializes with Hinakora. You know, Hinakora being the 5% explode node that creates the crazy ignite. This is the type of content I really like playing on my RF Chieftain. Doing content like this, I can farm enough currency to literally play like pretty much whatever I want. So, it is enjoyable for me. Oh, this is a very, oh boy, this is a big room. I actually have to say, with this strategy, I managed to blue screen my PC yesterday for the first time. Not sure if I'm proud of that or not, <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> I don't think I am proud of it, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, Let's see here. A lot more loot dropping than I'm used to. I wonder if it's because it's so dense. So I've primarily been farming um, Jungle Valley because Jungle Valley altars specifically, you don't hit boss altars because the boss is like hidden. I don't remember if they changed that. I don't think they did, but I didn't really pay attention. Um, the reason I'm in Toxic Sewer right now is because I want to find maps where the Beyond has a better focus. And since to Toxic Sewer is so much tighter packed, I do think you get more Beyond mobs. 
One of the other advantages, though, to farming um, Tropical Island, not Tropical Island, sorry, Jungle Valley. Jungle Valley drops the Fortunate card, which if you get, is it 12 of them? You can redeem for two Divines. So I've redeemed two sets of those, so that's four extra Divines just from that. I think today on stream, we're going to poke around with testing Breach. Uh, I'm going to see what we can do with a Breach-focused Atlas. Thanks, Einhar. I appreciate that. Man, I gotta say, there's something just about waking up in the morning and Matt blasting in Path of Exile before you've even drank your coffee. Holy porcupines! What damage mods were on those porcupines to do that? Something I have begun to realize, since I've never really juiced... I mean, I've juiced in PoE before, but back when it was more about sextants, I didn't juice nearly as much because it was too tedious for me. But I've learned a lot from juicing already. Like, I learned that Harbingers respawn monsters that are based on your monster type. Meaning, I do believe that Harbinger 100% interacts with the League mechanic. Because I can see these Harbingers raising, like, porcupines. So when you get, like, a modifier that says 50% pack size, I do think that applies to the Harbinger. Now, I very well could be wrong here. I did another test by running a Goatman map, and the Harbingers were only spawning goats. So, kind of cool. Also an example of how much loot is being shown right now. Uh, this is the end game. Uh, actually, this is hyper end game on the Atlas. I created a, a new one so you can actually see right here. I have like the campaign, end game, mid mid map progress, and end game. They're out of order. There's I didn't really pay attention to order there. I didn't think people would actually look at it, but uh, yeah. End game is after mid game. Okay, and that is pretty much it. It's been a lot of fun blasting these maps, so hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. You can see kind of what I've collected here just on Scarabs, right? Like, just in Scarabs alone. There's also, like, 14 raw chaos I just picked up. So pretty solid. Anyway, that's pretty much about it for me. I gotta go head over to the live stream, so I'll be going live right now. Give me, like, 20 minutes or so, and I will make a uh, builder specifically for this Atlas here, I just have to change it. Not not this, I have to change uh, the link in my Twitch. So I'm going to redo this and then go put it up. So catch you guys all later. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Catch you guys all tomorrow.